what's up guys welcome back to the studios lock here if you're new go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button and let's get into locking down some content before we jump into things today got a couple of mentions i will leave links in the description down below um but if you have not pre-registered for marvel future revolution make sure you do so um pre-registration started on june 29th so you're already a couple of days behind and they are giving out uh, pre-registration reward or well pre-registration goodies on game day release that are not limited to but will include costumes for each and every game day release character available um i talked a little bit about this in depth in uh yesterday's video um, so make sure you check that out if you want a little bit more information, but make sure you jump on that pre-registration because there's only a limited amount of slots of, of pre-registration uh, uh, spaces available. Make sure you get yours. Um, also, make sure you check out our partners, One Audio, um, that whether you're a content creator, uh, uh, a, sing, a singer songwriter, a DJ, a music creator of any kind, or just in general love listening to music or a gamer uh, they have some great audio equipment and headphones and the quality you get for the price you pay is a steal of a deal and there's a code as well to get 10% off your order uh, down in the, in the description below that's exclusive to lock studio so make sure you check it check them out and use that code and you can use that code as many times as you want for any order that you do present or into the future um and and i have to say that it is they have some amazing quality products uh, i will have to say that much so make sure you check them out as well all right um as promised uh we got uh sam wilson today um we're gonna check him out and uh off the top i, I have to give a shout out to the marvel future fight devs for this uh, uniform it is it is an amazing uniform it looks amazing the character itself is amazing so this does it pays great homage to anthony mackie and his role in the falcon and winter soldier um and anthony mackie is one of my more favorite actors uh today because he just i don't know it's any role he's done thus far that i've seen him in he just has a personality that makes you gravitate towards uh, uh towards him in that sense and you know he's just an all-around amazing actor and it goes to show in this uniform as well um at, at the amazing job that, that that they did to 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 pay homage to anthony mackie and and the role in being the falcon and the new captain america so shout outs to the devs for that thanks guys y'all did a fantastic job keep up the good work on that um so first off um we did a video yesterday on uh, Winter Soldier, Bucky. Uh, I can see off the top that uh, Bucky has 2K more attack and 2K more HP than Sam Wilson here. Um, Sam's attack is 19.3K. Bucky's is 21.1. Uh, Sam's HP is 37.9. Bucky's is 39.9. Now, grant you, this is based on my cards and, and stats and all that good stuff. Um, so do keep that in mind. Uh, <clears throat> build wise, or well, physical and energy defense are almost identical, uh, aside from maybe 100, 200, maybe 300 tops. Um, build wise, uh, Bucky's attack Uru are higher grade than Sam's. Bucky's are heroic, and Sam's are only rare grade quality. Otherwise, the builds are pretty much identical. Uh, 2x attack type Uru, 1x HP Uru per gear. Um, but we, but I did drop a uh, Dodge Uru on gear three and four in an unamplified slot, rare grade. Um, but overall, Bucky's Uru are a little bit better than Sam's. Skill wise, all skills are capped except for skill uh, one and two. <clears throat> Taking a look at his skills, uh, his tier two passive is when dodging, only when you dodge, uh, you have a 30% recovery of max HP, 40% increase of physical attack, and removes all debuffs, and it lasts four seconds. 
on an eight second cooldown time. Now this eight seconds will be four seconds with cap cooldown. So I will go through when I, uh, the rest of the skills and when I mention the skill cooldown, if it's like eight seconds or 10 seconds or what, however many seconds it is, I'm going to say, uh, like say, hypothetically speaking, if it's 10 seconds, I'm going to say 10 or five, which means 10 if you have no cooldown reduction or five if you have cap. <clears throat> so keep that in mind as well. So I can, it's going to help me fly through here a little bit faster. So the one skills generic um, on a seven or three and a half. Um, we have skill two with a stun on an eight or four. Um, we have skill three with burn incapacitation, a 50% ignore defense or all defense down with ignore uh, immunity ignore, invincibility, and a 50% damage increase for two two attacks that last eight seconds on a 16 or 8 and then we have skill 4 with fracture increased dodge rate by 60% which is massive with a 50% chance to penetrate on a 15 or 7.5 and then we have skill 5 with stun silence and ignore targets dodge rate by 70% that's going to be amazing for world boss legend with a 40-40 Frenzy buff with a 1% uh, all speed and 35% critical attack boost and removes incapacitation on a 17 or 8.5. <clears throat> His tier 1 passive is a 30% guaranteed dodge rate increase and his leadership is dodge rate increased by 15%. And then of course we have his tier 3 skill that we don't have yet because he's not tier 3. Um... I will say Bucky has accumulation on his base abilities, whereas Sam's accumulation is on his tier three only. Um, so off the top, Bucky's already looking better on, on on hypothetically speaking, with accumulation on his base skills, 2K more attack and 2K more HP. Right? We'll see what happens. And again, this is you're going to see why I think this uniform is so amazing and why it's so good. Um, ISO 8 set, stage 5 power of Angry Hulk, just like Bucky, except for Bucky's chaotic ISO 8s are higher grade than Sam's. Uh, we did give Sam a, a, a an extreme obelisk with crit damage and 140 proc, over, uh, which is 30% damage increase on the proc, uh, over Bucky's 110% and a little bit more critical damage over Bucky's critical damage. But Bucky did get dodge versus lightning resistance. And uniform wise, they're both identical, heroic grade, uh, and three optionals unlocked with dodge and double HP. All right, having said that, let's go ahead and uh, jump into some content now and check out how well he does. Now, I do want to. Uh, before we actually get into it, get into it, um, I want to make a side note here. Um, you guys know I'm, I, I, I cater more to the free-to-play player, the average player, the low spender, or the average spending player for what they can really and truly expect from their character and the performance of a character on a more realistic basis. You know, we don't all have a hundred thousand percent peers or this or that you know we're not all mega whales and we all can't do that right so i mean that those those videos and those content creators are great for entertainment but i'm i'm not just for entertainment i i want you to to see understand and know what to really expect from your characters in your roster for you okay Keep in mind that I do have 6% peers. Not everybody has that. Some have 2, some have 4, some have 10. You know, it just depends on, on your roster and your cards and your stuff in general. But, having said that, I have 6% peers. So, uh, the stages that I can do may differ from what you can do. If you have 0% peers, I would suggest stage 45 to 50. If you have 2%, I would say 50 to 60. 4%, I would say 60 to 65. And 6%, I would say 69 to maybe 75 um, would be optimal. Past that, you might be pushing it. 
if you and that's if you have decent cards if you have completely garbage cards no cards or not even you know free to play decent cards then i would say you're not even going to get stage 45 you might get stage 35 to 40 and even 35 to 40 is going to is is still amazing for a character of that tier and level and build okay so let's keep that in mind uh when evaluating your own roster compared to what you're seeing in this video i want you to to optimize and maximize the best that you can so with my six percent pierce i'm pushing myself to an even higher stage than what you may do that way it, it's more relevant because i want to have the same difficulty that you have so what i can well the difficulty that i have and what i can do on a higher stage is, is the is how your character is going to perform on say a, a lower stage if you don't have pierce or you have lower pierce than i do all right so jumping into it here we're going to use the same exact team that we used for bucky anti-man lead 45 percent all attack and shuri support with uh with this team and then striker wise we're going to use the same strikers that we used for bucky the generic team on five and the heal team on three so we're going to start off with the generic team and let's jump into it all right here we go his rotation is very uh very very straightforward very simple um i'm going to explain a little bit before we get into it um it's going to be three cancel five let the five roll out and then it's going to be four delay for about a second and a half into the two okay so it's going to be like four, one Mississippi, two, into the two, right? Um, you're going to use the four and the two to basically for basically the buffs and the iframe to avoid and dodge damage while dealing a little bit of damage while you're waiting for your main damage combo to come off cooldown. It's very smooth how it works, very simple how it works. His three works very much like Sharon's three. You pop the three, there's a... a a good uh, amount of time delay before any hit is made so if your proc triggers on the three don't worry about it go ahead and use the five because the five is going to hit way before anything from the three hits so your proc will still land on the five anyway um so it's super simple if you got to reset um because you off proc by some magical chance it's super easy to reset just let it let your skills come off cooldown three cancel five and right back into it super simple super easy um the only thing i will say is specifically versus proxima or maybe even other bosses who have weird attacks or patterns be wary of when you're using the four and the two after your main damage combo because they there's uh gaps between the iframes okay um they're not full iframes okay most of the time when you're fighting proxima your biggest threat is the spear drop from the spears that have pierced the purple circled ones and in, in sam's case it's not the purple ones that that you need to be afraid of it's the red circled ones the ones that don't pierce those are the ones you got to worry about because if she there's no warning message for those like there is for the pierce spears okay and because sam's four and two are not full iframes and you're not always guaranteed to be in the five when she uses those you'll get when one tags you you're done because they drop super fast if one tags you the one the, the next one's already tagging you and then the third and fourth and it, you, it just it you're done you're literally done so what you want to watch out for versus proxima specifically is the red circle spears because they drop so fast and if you get tagged by one while you're in the middle of the four or the two because they're not full iframes and one spear gets you it's going to pull you out of your whole skill automatically and tag the crap out of you because they drop so fast and there is no warning message so keep that in mind and that's mostly going to be in the third phase of the fight um the rest is 
pretty much safe. I would suggest switching in and out as soon as you see a red circle, switch out. I don't care if it's, you know, you, uh, uh, a clutch move where it's not even a, the, those spears dropping. You're just trying to be safe. Switch just to be on the safe side because it will tag him out, especially doing something this, uh, 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 this high of a stage with that grade and tier of a character and its level. Um, do keep in mind I have 6% pierce. I'm, I'm more on the free to play average player, low spender, average spender player content here. So I, I, I want you to grasp and see the reality of the, of, uh, uh, what you're going to expect from your characters. Um, and not just, you know, what a thousand percent pierce can do. So let's go ahead and jump into it and let's show you how amazing Sam Wilson's uniform is. Okay, remember, Sam doesn't have accumulation like Bucky yet, because his accumulation is on the tier three. And look at this damage. Beautiful damage. Amazing skill animation. Smooth rotation. So remember, his rotation is three cancel five let the five roll out let it proc and do some damage then four one mississippi two there's that and then by the time that's done that's back off three cancel five and there's our proc rolling out that damage into the four into the two three cancel five and pun intended sam's literally just flying through the stage right now We're getting rid of that. Just in case, because he's low health, I'm going to go ahead and switch. But we went ahead and triggered the phase. She's probably going to drop spears. Three cancel five, so we can go to the iframe and dodge that shit. Whoop. That's a word I shouldn't have said. I'll bleep it. <laughs> Okay, where's that heal? I know I'm dodging all kinds. There's the heal we're looking for. Three cancel five. Tell you what, that heal is so clutch. See, the purple spears, he can dodge fairly easily. It's those red ones because they drop so fast. In tandem with each other, they're extremely dangerous. We're getting ready for the phase change here. There's our proc. Beautiful damage. All right, here's where we got to watch out for those red circled spears. Super dangerous. Let's dodge that. Let's see what she's. We're going to dodge these. Oh. She going to throw them right now? She's throwing these. Yep. Those are the ones you got to watch right there. See, the purple, he can actually fly out, away and out of those. Which is funny. But he sure can't get out of them red ones. Those are, those are like a bane for him. I have to say that much. Because they drop so fast. There's our proc. Beautiful damage. We love it. Let's let her recuperate. Oh, you're not tagging me with those red spears again. Yeah, I saw them. Better safe than sorry, guys, I promise you. That's like his one, his one kryptonite is those red spears, specifically versus Proxima. We're going to run from these spears. She's going to drop some more. Where's those red ones at? I know they're coming. Three cancel five.
We're gonna run because I know there's something coming. Run, Falcon! <laughs> run! <laughs> Three cancel five. Let's see if we can't finish it off here. And that's going to do it. Bam. 26 seconds to spare. The fastest I've done this is uh, a minute and 10 seconds left on the clock. Um, I was being a little bit more um, conservative uh, for this particular fight. Um, but even so, considering he's still doing it. Right? With no accumulation. Bucky had accumulation. was getting hammered. Right, so we're gonna jump back into another run. Okay, so so far Bucky is zero for three on three runs. Sam, on the other hand, is one for one so far. So let's go ahead and jump into the next run. And we're gonna use the, the second striker team that we used for Bucky. So let's jump into it. See if uh, Sam can't go two for two here. This is a little bit harder uh, of a team to use. Even though it does have Venom's heels, the issue is that there's less control on Proxima. So she's a little bit more dangerous than the Enchantress generic team. Because she's not controlled as much. I mean, you do have Doctor Strange, but he doesn't pop out quite as often as Enchantress. And I believe uh, Doctor Strange is done by when you attack, not when you're attacked. So it makes kind of a big difference in terms of uh, how you're able to control the boss. So it does make her quite a bit more dangerous, to be fair. Because she can throw much more stuff, dodge much more, she's just in the way more. All right, we're almost here into the phase change. There we go. We're going to switch to save face. We don't want to get tagged by spears. We're just going to try to uh, dodge those entirely. Proc on the five. So we're going to get tagged. And phase change. Alright, now we're at the deadly phase of the fight because of the red spears. Let's see if we can... Uh, we're going to switch immediately. I said throwing spears. Or we're, we're, she's already trying to take out old Sam. She's got a Sam grudge. She's hard. God, she's spamming hardcore already. I know she's got red spears coming anytime. I'm 
Well, I'm surprised she hasn't thrown them yet. Here they are. Uh, those are the ones I was waiting for. Those are a prop. Uh, you see how I switched to uh, Anti Man? I knew that. I knew that. I knew, I knew she was throwing them. I had to. I had to switch and get get him out of there. So I had to make that sacrifice. Get her. Right, she's gonna throw him again here in a minute. Because there's a stint where she throws both of them at the same time. Here it is. I know she was throwing another. It may not finish because she won't quit spamming. Oh, we finished it on the, wow, on the bar. That was a little bit harder because she was spamming a lot. I was having to dodge a ton of those spears. She was just uber spamming even from the get-go. But as you can see, two for two. This is why I, I feel like this makes Sam Wilson the star of the update and why his, his uniform is so amazing to me because <clears throat> lesser build, more bang, right? Now, you have to consider the fact that level 60, tier 2, level 20 gears, basic Uru, an, an incomplete stage 5 power of angry Hulk ISO 8 set, a generic obelisk with crit damage and 140 proc, and he has so many cap stats, it's redonkulous. So that's why I that's why I say, you know, Sam Wilson Captain America uniform is hands down amazing. Shout out to the devs for this one. Y'all did an amazing job. Um I will say you need to go back and revamp Bucky. Uh Give him a heal. He needs it badly. He can't survive. I mean, if you, if you look at his skills. Stun. Attack increase. We've already, That's two skills. No immunity. Skill three. 100% chance for immunity. All damage. Five seconds. One immunity. Skill four. Invincible five seconds. That's two immunities. Skill five. No immunity. So you have two skills that have immunity, but here's the problem. The, the, the immunity on the three is a waste of time. Literally. Because you're canceling this skill. Three, cancel five, cancel four. So you... You have no immunity to fall back on because his rotation is three, five, four. Three for the accumulation, five for the frenzy, and all the damage landing on all the skills on the four. Because the five is cancelable, the three is cancelable, and the four is running along with the five. So five seconds and five seconds, that still only adds up to five seconds. So when you come out of when you come out of your immunity, you're screwed. This has nothing. Put an immunity on the two. Take the immunity off the off the three and put it on the two. Because then you can three cancel five, cancel four, and you're on invincibility. And then you can 
while that's playing out and all your damage is rolling, you can pop the two and then go into the one or something for more immunity to save yourself. Even as tier three. There's a nine seconds in, it's nine second invincibility, which gives them three immunities. But what happens if the combo includes all three uh, all three immunity skills? Then you have no immunity. You're screwed. Y'all need to fix how that works. Move the immunity somewhere else to where it can be used as a de as a defensive. It's a waste of time putting it all, all on his offensive combo, and then he has nothing to work with. But that's Sam Wilson, Captain America. Uniform, the Falcon and Winter Soldier. Amazing uniform. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. This is Locke signing out. Have a good one.